Joining us now is Bobby Mesmer, who is known now as a, I want to say a serial entrepreneur, but it's not. He is like the tycoon of business. He's like, no, tycoon of wonderment. What are you, Bobby? You are like the... I don't, I don't know anymore. No? I get classified as so much as so many things. I don't know. Well, you started so. out as a... a race car driver, right? Let's I, talk about that. I did. Okay. I, I was racing. I mean, it kind of paralleled with the, my business start. So it was kind of like a thing that I did because I guess I was, even though I was growing my business, I feel like um, I was still bored. And so I needed to occupy myself and continue to challenge myself. So racing was a piece of that challenge. Well, I would think the challenge would be fitting in a Trans Am. Fitting in a race, <laughs> fitting in a car. You're like, so, you're tall. I'm like this tiny little thing, right? Uh, so, you know. I'm a six foot four, 290 pound guy. So right. yeah, I, I'm not the atypical race car driver. They're like, they're like five foot six and like 130 pounds. And I feel like that's why racing was so successful for me because I really pushed myself to, to because everybody said no. They were oh. like, no, you can't. And I had a right. lot of no's. I, had, I, I met with a lot of no's, but um, my, my ability to be just successful in it was like was what drove me and I became successful. You're like, watch me now. Yeah, watch, watch, watch me go. Watch me now. Oh, yeah. hold my beer. Wow. You know, that's, wow. that's what it becomes. Yeah. So what was the first track that you were able to, to spin around? Um, I started out actually in New Jersey Motorsports Park and uh, that's kind of where everything kind of kicked off. And then, um, uh, and then from there, it just, you know, it just expanded and went Watkins Glen and Road America and Coda and, I mean, Lime Rock and I, I mean, basically every track in, the, in, in, in North America, right? right. And, 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 that's, and, and it's just, it was so much fun. I mean, the camaraderie with the other racers and the teams and just the helping out. Um, in the last couple of years, we owned our own prototype team. Um, we did really, really well. And then I retired officially what are we in 24 and 23 okay. officially retired so okay. selling off all the team and all that now and it's you know moving on to different things now were you um i guess surprised by meeting any of your heroes in racing was there anybody that all of a sudden you got to meet that you thought wow what a great conversation i just had with that person yeah it's a lot it's it's you know what it is it's real people and that's what I like about it. You know, you, everybody gets starstruck about things. And I was never really a starstruck kind of person, right. and especially racing against people that you see that are big time racers. You're like, but for me, I'm like, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to kick your butt. Right. You know, yeah. and you know, <laughs> did it work? No, of course not. You know, but it, it was, um, they're, they're, they're just real people. They were super nice, super helpful. They give pointers. And, and that's the best part about that community. You've gone through some adversity, some challenges, mm -hmm. right? Besides, you know, the fact, like I said, can you fit in the car? But I was joking around. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you've had um, some health issues. Your, your home got destroyed by a tornado. Mm -hmm. You were defrauded by a client. And mm -hmm. it's not like you came from means, right? Mm -hmm. Everything you have, you just were grassroots yourself when I, you were little, e right? I mean, like... Well, my father owned his own business for about 40 years. So I learned the business side from him, from growing up in business. And he owned a very large company in southern New Jersey. And so I learned that business business side, watching him do business growing up. He put me to work with him when I was nine years old. And, and you know, so weekends, summers, I mean, that's just what, what I did. Um, so entrepreneurial mind probably had a little bit. I think people are gifted with it to a certain extent, but I think there's, you have to have somebody that you watch and how they do business, especially an integral person. So I was able to get that from my dad. This business, I started literally from nothing. Um, started on my own, build it up to what it was um, and what it is, and um, just continue to progress. So, but yeah, I mean, the adversity that I face through the growth of it, you know, any, any business has its ups and downs. Um, and if you're not almost bankrupt a couple times, you're not doing it right. I well, yeah, he said, that. well, Disney was bankrupt 11 times. Did you know that? No. Yeah, I read that yeah. about him. And no. I was like, all right, well, that makes sense, you know? It's, it's, Walks it's, around with a mouse in his pocket, and then, you know, it happens. But that's the way you learn, right? Right. You learn through adversity. And I tell people that. Like, I like to talk about that a lot. And and really, it's about, like, you know, when you when you started walking, right? This is my favorite thing. When you When you were a baby and you started and you went from crawling to walking, how many times did you fall? Right, and Plenty. you didn't learn to walk. You didn't just all of a sudden get up one day and like you run in a marathon. You 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 walked, you fell, you walked, you fell. But that's how you learn. It's the same thing in business, and everybody just misses that point. Everybody is too eye on the success, and I got to be perfect. Listen, I want to fail because then it's reflection, and I want to learn from that reflection of what I'm doing. So, so there was one part in your journey where somebody completely defrauded you. Mm -hmm. What yeah. like your uh, you just missed it, or like what was the second you knew? that somebody did something wrong to you? Like, how did you, how, did you find an email? Like, what was it? Somebody called on the phone? No, basically, yeah, basically he called me and said, I'm not paying you. 
You know, oh. I mean, it was that simple. I mean, it was right okay. in the face. Okay, you did you all know? the work. You did put all the work. In, right. Finished all the contracts. Did everything I had to do, um, and just I'm not paying you. Sue me. Did and, that teach you not to take a deposit? Like what? 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 How did that be, help you personally become more resourceful? Or what lesson did you learn that you say, "Not again. I won't do that again that way." Uh, biggest lesson: eggs and baskets. Okay. Eggs and baskets. Um, I fell into the trap of trusting and putting the majority of my business into this one group. Okay. And that was a problem because they had too much control of my business, even though, you know, and when I say control, look, they have the power of the pen. So, so they do exactly what they did, you're out of business. So that's what I learned. And, and so, we've, so when we reorganized the business, um, this was what, 2015? We reorganized the business, restructured, looked at it, and then rebuilt it back up. Um, no more eggs and baskets, for sure. And talking about rebuilding it back up, it's RMG, and what is it that you do? So we're the world's largest pre-engineered building erector, okay? So what are pre-engineered buildings? Um, everybody sees the Dollar Generals. It's like a joke, like there's a Dollar General in every corner now. Um, it's the Dollar Generals, the O'Reilly Auto Parts, tractor supply, big airplane hangers. Um, so we've built ourselves to be the largest in the world at erecting those. And then now we're the only vertically integrated company in the United States where we are engineering our own buildings, um, fabricating them, and erecting them as one full, complete service. It's one of the things you learned, right? Yeah. It's like concept to completion, like this, this is what we're going to do, right? Yeah, diversification. So when somebody needs one of those, so let's say I buy a franchise and I buy one of those, like a Dollar General or something mm -hmm. like that. Th then I call you and I say, Bobby, I need my kit? Yeah. Is that how it works? Basically, yeah. You okay. call me and you say, <laughs> you know, you call me and you say, hey, look, you know, we're going to build $10 Generals, you know, can you, can you give us the building and, and erect it for us? And, and we put that process in motion. Yeah. And what did your health challenge? Because I think you had a stroke, right? I did. I had okay. a heart attack. Oh, both, um, right? Then, yeah, so a heart attack first. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Hold stroke. on, that was a nervous giggle. I'm not laughing at you because <laughs> it's kind of serious. But like, I'm like, okay, so mm -hmm. here we go. You get defrauded. Uh, you mm -hmm. have a heart attack and a stroke. Yeah, okay. heart attack. The stroke was led by the heart attack because um, my heart was in AFib, pumped out all the blood clots, caused a stroke. Recovered from all that. I just had another stroke um, this past April. Okay. So I'm partially blind in my left eye because of it. So we're still working through that, trying to figure out what's going on there. As a matter of fact, in two weeks, I have a bunch of like MRIs, MRAs, and some brain scans and stuff like that to see what's going on. Okay. Um, so I'm still, I'm still in the middle of it. I'm right. still in the middle of adversity. Um, so yeah, so I've, I've faced this for years and, 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 and my health issues, but I, I'm not letting it stop me. It actually empowers me, you know? Speaking about empowerment, you've got a wonderful team. What yeah. are some of the ways that you do empower your team to circle around you, to rally around you, to make, you know, to make your, I guess your life thrive? I, I, first and foremost, I think it's setting myself up as an example for them. You know, they see me going through the adversity, but they see me still in it every day. Yeah. And I think that that empowers them. I, I don't know how it does it, right? And so, you know, they, they look, I, I hope that they look at me and say, if he's doing this, I, we can do this too. Um, and then it's about pushing them, you know? Like I, I, I tend to look at everybody and I look at what they're good at. And I, and I set the bar really high for each person. Mm. And, I, and I say to them, and, and they get upset about it. Like, you know, like when you set a bar high for an, for, for an employee, they're like, I can't reach that. And look, I set it there because I believe that you can. And, they, if they, and once they understand the concept that I believe in them that much, and if I'm believing in them more than they are, they, they want to then achieve that goal. They want to get to that bar. And then when they do, the sense of pride that they have, the sense of, of, mm. of, of accomplishment, and then it's a matter of, okay, I moved the bar up. Now they're like, oh, I'm getting that. Right. You know, it changes right. the whole dynamic of people. And, and so I hope that through that concept of what I'm doing with them, of, of setting that bar high and really believing in them and, and truly believing in them. I, I, I think all my employees understand that I truly do believe in, in you and what you're doing. And, and that just changes the whole nature of them. I, you know, even around here too, I, I feel like that is so helpful. And they help me equally. Right? Like, mm -hmm. I'll be like, I'll say, I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'm going to go for this or this or that. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, go ahead, send it out, you know? In fact, the whole team, we're all going to um, France in 2026 wow. through Colette Tours or whatever. I've never been to France. It's one of the things that was on my personal bucket list, right? So they're like, well, yeah, why don't you? And I was like, oh, yeah. It's just almost like sometimes, even for us, to write ourselves a permission slip mm -hmm. to succeed, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, I, Donna Drake, I'm giving myself permission to do this, right? Mm -hmm. So Bobby, you're currently giving yourself permission to do something cool too. And that's because you're going to be um, 
like coaching other people mm -hmm. and doing more public speaking. Are you excited? Are you jazzed up about that? I am very much so. I I I really feel good about helping people. Like I really deep down inside, and I really just love the accomplishment that comes out when you can really share your successes and your failures with people. And so for me to for me to help, I, I just helped a company in Middle Tennessee. Um, I tell that story, you know, here and there. I helped them earlier in uh, in the year, and the accomplishment when they came back and to me in July and were like, "Hey, you know, we're like we were almost closing our doors, and and now we're we're a million and a half dollars on the plus side." Like. Uh, that's that's a, that's great, and that's what I want. I want people to be able. If I can help just even one person through business success, then I've succeeded. You mm. know, I just can't keep doing it for myself and take my own success and hold it within and not share it with the world. What does that What does that do? So, so for me to give back and and in that way to help entrepreneurs who really want to try, help them succeed and help them get to an end goal. What's better than that? I just find you fascinating. I really do. It's so exciting to know you, to meet you, to learn more about your journey. And one of the things, you know, I had mentioned Trans Am before, right? Why was that car special to you? Tell me about that. Because it was, the relationship between you and, you know, that yeah, special it, vehicle. It was different. Okay. You know, it was different. You know, I come from the, from the sports car world. Um, I raced a lot of different sports cars, Porsches and Audis and um, prototypes. And, and that car was a stock car to be made to race in the road racing and so very different style driving um, more complicated because it doesn't like really hug the track like other cars do um, so it was a very uh, it, it gave a lot of it was work okay. I, let me say that it was work so you, you know? like the challenge I you're like a person challenge. that likes yeah. likes challenges yeah yeah absolutely Excellent. thousand percent where will we be seeing you next are you going to be traveling what will you be doing where can uh, we find you um so I, you know first of all you could find me all over social media um, we're building that presence you know now so come and follow share um, we're doing a bunch of you know, a bunch of, uh, edu you know, informative videos, just videos of my day in life and what that looks like. Um, you can find me. I'm also doing some work with Dave Meltzer. Um, Great. So uh, we're actually going to start, um, I'm, uh, we just talked to somebody, I'm going to start writing a book. So we'll Wonderful. be putting a book out. Oh, yeah. Um, I can already, we just talked about four chapters, right? right five exactly. chapters right there, Bobby. It writes itself almost, I know. Right? I, live, I live 10 lives already, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. So you can, you know, please come, come, and, come and reach out to me. If you need help in your business, you know, I'm happy to, you know, talk about what that looks like to consult with me and you know you can find me pretty much anywhere excellent i really enjoyed this visit with you thank, thank you, you so very much, much no, for being thank you on for having me this is happy fantastic. journeys to you this is like awesome this is like i feel like i met a new friend thank you so much thank you there you go bobby mesmer you could find him on social media follow him he's got a lot of information that he wants to share and i can't wait to read his book be well